someone was asking about how to lube and uh, oil uh, your machine and so I'm going to do the best I can here based on this uh, router that we have here at the courthouse. If you look uh, where the platen is right here, the black uh, roller, you see on each side there's a couple of little holes in there. Looks like little screw holes, but that is actually a place if you have the oil, you put a couple of drops in there and then you can actually move the platen to get the oil to move in through there. I would suggest you do that so that uh, uh, it goes where it needs to go. And then secondly, to uh, make some further adjustments on the machine, there is a, a knob right down here in front of the ink area, a white knob, and there's also one over here on the side. And the one here in the front adjusts the, tint, the depth of stroke on your keyboard as best it can. Now it may not go really shallow, but you can adjust it down to be as shallow as it will go by turning the knob here. The one over here on the other side is for your tension as far as how hard you actually have to press the keys, not how far down, but how hard they have to be. This little black spool right in here is uh, where your ink well is if you have this kind of a writer. And what I like to do is I will take the uh, ink and I will pretend that this is a bottle of ink because I don't have any ink. I'll drop the ink in here in a different places on these little holes. I'll put a couple of drops in each one and then I will actually turn the platen or the thing and just make it go around and what that does is that inks the ribbon as it comes up through here and so if you wonder why it doesn't get inked up quickly go ahead and put some drops of ink in there and then turn that wheel a couple of times with the ink bottle and uh, oil or not oil but ink your ribbon and uh, you can uh, you'll get better ink on there quicker by just uh, putting the ink drops in these little holes here and then just turning it around a couple of times uh, you know five or ten times and that will ink the platen or the the ink roll the ink well and it will ink the ribbon so if you have a rider like that some are asking how to do that and that is uh, what I have found that works to oil the machine. Now if you're really getting a lot of clickety clack noises after doing that, chances are down underneath here, underneath the keys, if you look, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's a, uh, there's a felt pad underneath there that could be just worn out because if you're making clicking noises, chances are you just need to replace uh, and just have your machine serviced uh, which might not be a bad idea spend the two hundred fifty dollars or whatever it is and get your machine serviced and get some new uh, felt underneath there on that uh, that bottom thing so it doesn't make as much noise you'll find it's easier to hear uh, when you don't have the clackety clack so hope that helps